Hi and welcome back. In the last video we saw how to register a domain and purchase a hosting account. Now again it's going to take a little bit of time in order for your domain and your hosting account to actually get set up usually between 12 and 24 hours. Um, but at this point I want to go ahead and um, associate my domain name with my web hosting account and get all of that configured. So you're going to come back to the main GoDaddy screen at www.godaddy.com and right up here is where you're going to enter in your login information and password. So I'm going to go ahead and enter mine on in there and then I'm going to go ahead and click login and you should see welcome back Timothy or welcome back whatever your name is right there and you're going to come over here to this far right button that says my account and you're going to go ahead and click on my account and you're going to see under your account any domains that you've registered their sample small business website that I registered and then when you come down here you're going to see some other products and specifically what you're looking for is you're looking for web hosting. So go ahead and select web hosting there and you're going to see it says new account right here. You're going to want to click on where it says new account. And this pop-up information is going to come up. You can look over this information, make sure that everything is okay. But right now what I want you to do is, oh, you can click here on edit account details and you could change um, any of this information if you want. You're usually not going to be doing that. You're going to go ahead and select edit renewal details and this is the important point for right here. It says auto renew on or off. In other words, do you want your hosting to automatically renew every time your term expires? We have one year's worth of hosting on this one. I still have it on because I don't want at the end of that year my um, hosting to expire and my domain to go down. And then I can go ahead and click on close and it should bring me right back here. And again, you're going to see under my products your new account here. You're going to see a large green button here that says control or control center. You want to click on launch. And another window or another tab will open up and it's going to ask you to set up your hosting account. And you're going to select your domain name here. And if you only have one domain name, only one item is going to be available to you. You're going to see it where it says FTP username and it's going to give you this right here. This is going to be the FTP username that you use with your web design software, either Dreamweaver, Expression Web, whatever it is that you're using. I like to make it something easy for me to remember, so I'm going to go ahead and click Change there. And I'm going to go ahead and type in something different, just like that. And I can click Check to see if it's available and it says this will be your username. So you want to make that something memorable. Then you want to go ahead and enter in your password. Again it should be at least seven characters and have some combination of uppercase letters, lowercase numbers, and symbols inside of it. And um, oh, I need to put a symbol in. That's what I forgot to do. There we go. So some combination of uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. And then you're going to go ahead and click on Finish. And again, it's going to wait just a second here. And you're going to see it says typical wait time is going to be about 30 minutes to get your um, account set up from this point. But you already actually have everything that you um, need to um, set yourself up in Dreamweaver or Expression Web or any other program that you're using to publish your website. So after about 30 minutes you're going to come back, you're going to need your username, you're going to need your password here, and again this is not displayed, so write that information down. There is a difference between your GoDaddy username and password 
that you entered in when you actually created your account and the hosting username and password that you chose just now. They can be the same. If you entered them in as the same, they can be the same. But be aware that there are two different usernames and passwords here. So again, now that we've got this set up, um, I'm going to go ahead and wait 30 minutes, and then I'm going to go into my web design program, enter that information in, and actually publish my site. So I'll see you in the next video.